Hello, I'm Yasmin Abbas, DK Osewa, sorry, you present yourself. <laughs> um, today we're presenting um, AMP. AMP. You saw a glimpse of it uh, in Marion's slides. It's, it's a great, um, it was great to see that it travels as we, ent we wanted it, right? So that's great. Um, AMP is, um, the AMP, AMP stands for the Agbo Bloshi Makerspace Platform. Um, it's a, an alternative architecture for making spacecraft. So we're crafting space within uh, the spacecraft. It's a small scale, as you can see, mobile, incremental, low cost and open source piece of architecture that travels. Um, it's it's uh, imagine as a unit that can be networked, can um, as an architect as a piece of architecture, it enables, in fact, communities to uh, amplify their potential um, and uh, get together to make it. One thing that I wanted to add also was the fact that it was designed and co-fabricated with people um, from different backgrounds. And uh, this is what we also trying to do all along is amplify or make connection among people with different backgrounds. DK, you wanted to show also um, that it's, a, the, it's an open source platform and you can find online um, and you will find the blueprints as to how to make it, assemble it and uh, the 3D um, as the 3D models that you can download of all the parts. Yeah. Well, Dike is going to show you a little bit of uh, more information about what led to the spacecraft ZCAM, which is now um, in, the, uh, in the exhibit, which we're hoping that will travel somewhere else in Africa. So one of the challenges that we, we found in Ghana is that um, there's a kind of cultural divide that uh, a lot of young people who are lucky enough to be able to go to university have a very good education, which is very technical, but largely theoretical and not necessarily hands-on. And they also have expectations after they graduate that they should work in a very beautiful office with air conditioning and very clean and sit in front of a computer all day long. Um, and so, and there's not really that many jobs for people. And then on the flip side, you have many people who haven't really gone to school, haven't really learned in a formal setting, but have incredible knowledge about how to make things. And so, um, in terms of what Yasmin was saying, is also as, a, as spacecraft being a portal, it's to try and bring these people together in a space so that they can create things together and learn from each other. Um, this is Agwabloshi, which is this scrapyard in the middle of Accra, which is kind of world famous now as being very polluted and this kind of epicenter of the e-waste problem. In the background, you can see there are some young men burning copper wires to try and recover copper. And those are the images that are typically propagated around the world in the media, et cetera, saying, look at all these problems in Africa, blah, 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 blah. In the foreground, you see some young people, including Nick, who's here and going to talk shortly, who were actually in the same space and using this as a lab. Um, and here they're doing the first tests of, of a prototype for air quality sensor, the Scanopy, which is part of this project here at ZKM, um, in that same space together with some of the young men who actually work in the scrapyard. You can see them with the blue jacket on, Osman. Um, so working background, working sort of, I'm moving back in time. Here underneath, as you can see, is one of the toolboxes. There's one here as well at ZKM. This was developed uh, sort of for this project, but the toolboxes are modular tool sets that plug into the makerspace and can be customized to do a number of different things. Uh, that's another conversation, but we're customizing them uh, as e-waste strip, uh, wire strippers to collect copper in a more environmentally responsible way in the scrapyard, um, solar power packs, a number of different things. Um, here you see the, the very first uh, breadboard to test the, uh, the, the Scanopy sensor unit. Uh, on the upper left you see a tensegrity structure, which is another um, component of the module of the spacecraft under development. 
Here you can see the young people sort of just testing, putting these components together, um, you know, using the internet as this incredible resource to find information about how to, how to? connect things. Yeah. No, I just wanted to add that it's happening in the first spacecraft in Agbo Bloshi. Which is here. Here you can see it um, together with some of the elders of the community. Uh, and they were talking about some of the projects that are ongoing in this space. Um, and again, this idea of how do you create portals between young people in different spaces. This is actually some of the students at Ashesi University who developed some of the, tested some of these modules sort of within their university setting. Um, but the difference is that many times when you have these kinds of hackathons and things that everyone likes to support, they don't leave these kinds of spaces. So everyone gets together, makes a cool thing, sort of has an idea, eat some nice food, and then they leave. And that's really sort of the end of it. Um, but here again, here you can see them developing these things. Um, here's Nick explaining circuitry. Now here you see some of the uh, young guys in Agwabloshi uh, sort of testing, putting together this spacecraft here, uh, that's now here, but over there. Can I add to that? Mm -hmm. um, it was very interesting yesterday um, because we had students uh, coming and assembling the spacecraft, realizing that the bolts were not the same size and taking like, a really long time to somehow assemble it. Um, it's just also because the bolts were um, mined from the scrapyard. So it's interesting to know that some of the, just to see how to actually deal with, with waste. We heard um, Tsunami saying something about like, we can't prototype this uh, um, how to 3D printer and like, just do the same one over and over again just because the parts are never the same. So I think that was a, this is exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. So we're about to conclude, I know because of time, but uh, so just to also mention this idea of circulation, this is David who is, has his face covered. He's an apprentice welder to Brandon. He was in Dakar and helped assemble the space. He came from Ghana to Dakar, helped with the technology transfer. Um, and then when he came back, he participated with the welders in Ghana to build the spacecraft, which is now here. And so there was all these interesting conversations between the knowledge that has gone between these spaces um, around how to make these components. Um, because again, for, for the, the welders working in these kinds of spaces, this is a really, uh, it's a, in a way a challenge for them technically to try and develop and build things with a certain degree of precision. Um, it's an ongoing process. process here in the bottom right is a welder, Beidou, and his apprentice above him, Obi, and they have been working since the last five, six years on this project. Um, and Beidou here actually just passed away last week, uh, which was really emotional for us, um, especially as the, this um, exhibition is opening. But we mention it here and now because um, one of the challenges for us around technology and why we believe so much, much in open source and community building around technology is that traditionally there was a, a form of, of knowledge transfer between generations that happened through apprenticeship. So a master carpenter, a master welder, a master carver would have these apprentices and, and help them learn through making things for many years how to do things. Um, and so now by virtue of sort of leveraging um, open source platforms, we can create these networks between people as nodes in a kind of knowledge network to help facilitate these kinds of transfers of knowledge across generations and integrate them with some of the new possibilities in, in a digital space. Um, I think that's really it. I guess we just mentioned is that uh, in conclusion is that for us, it's really about trying to build a platform um, as a kind of uh, portal between all these different spaces um, to help network the networks and create an open framework that people can leverage um, in their own communities to make whatever it is they want to make. And now we've now have the first two modules in Ghana. We've added the one in, in Dakar, which apparently has also traveled to Mauritania. Um, there's this one here now. We're building another one as well. Uh, 
that's our time. Uh, in the U.S., we also um, have a number of people in conversation right now who want to try and build their own across West Africa. So we look forward to a future with many uh, sort of spacecraft in the fleet. Thank you. Thank you.